Well, as accusations about Harvey Weinstein's sexual deviancy continue to swirl, social media users are sharing their experiences of sexual assault. Darcy Ropchan has more. Yesterday you touched my breast. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used to that? Yes, come in. The hashtag MeToo campaign comes in the wake of shocking allegations of sexual misconduct against producer Harvey Weinstein, showing just how widespread sexual assault is. Maria Sarkoga of the Lloyd Minster Sexual Assault Center says awareness is crucial to show survivors they are not alone. That's the best thing that we can do um, as an organization is to let people know that, you know, these things happen mm -hmm. and that there are supports that can be accessed and there are people that they can reach out to. When it comes to supporting survivors of sexual assault, Sarkoga says the simple three-word sentence, I believe you, makes all the difference. There's always that he said, she said, right? And there are still, it's still a taboo issue that people think that, oh, it didn't happen to you because about 95% of sexual assaults are done by people that we trust. Sexual harassment in the workplace may not be overt as the Weinstein allegations. However, it's important to recognize it could happen to anybody. Even simple as like when people say things like, oh, he does that to everybody or she does that to everybody. You know, we want people to understand that it's a human issue and not just a gender issue, that it happens to anybody and it can be done by anybody. If you need assistance or more information, you can visit the Lloyd Minster Sexual Assault Center's website or give them a call. Darcy Ropchan, Newcap News. Well, this week is Waste Reduction Week in Canada and Lloyd Minster is taking the pledge. Waste Reduction Week is an opportunity to highlight the need for waste reduction, going to our landfills, the opportunity to separate biodegradables and things like that from the uh, recyclables and ensure that we put as minimal amount of waste in the landfill that really needs to be at the landfill. That's really what it is to highlight that, bring it to residents' attention, the commercial industry, making sure that people are aware. This week, the city encourages you to take advantage of the Blue Bag program and green biodegradable bins to help Lloydminster reduce its waste, especially with the amount of leaves and lawn waste this time of year. Everyone talks about being an environmentalist. I think we all are. It's in our best interest to look after the world we've been given. The campaign goes until October 22nd, but the hope is to inspire responsible consumption all year long. Well, they're a simple tool that can save your life in an emergency, though fire extinguishers haven't changed much in the last 20 years. As we see in this week's edition of Retrospect, fire departments have changed their advice on when to use them. Fire crews race to the scene of another fire, but by the time they get there, the car is completely engulfed in flames. If the driver had been carrying a fire extinguisher, he might have been able to at least slow the flames down until fire crews arrived. Local fire officials say you should have an extinguisher in your home and in every vehicle at all times, but they say just having it is not enough. We're all guilty of, we, if we do buy an extinguisher, we hang it on the rack or put it in the vehicle and then seem to forget about it. There's actually very few people out there that know how to operate their fire extinguishers. At least take the time to read the directions before they're confronted with an emergency situation because when you have to put out a fire, that's a very poor time to be starting to look at the directions on how to operate the extinguisher. Though that advice hasn't changed, it is no longer recommended you carry an extinguisher in your vehicle. This is due to car fires burning hotter and faster than 20 years ago. Just, just exit your vehicle and call 911 um, and stay well away from your vehicle. Uh, it is a vehicle, they are insured, we can get them replaced. Um, and if there is a fire in a vehicle, generally it's rode off anyways. So please don't put yourself in harm's way fighting a vehicle fire. It remains important to keep an extinguisher in your home and do monthly and yearly checkups. Just make sure that you're mindful of where you place the fire extinguisher, as well as uh, do make sure that you do take it out of your cupboard every year and get it recertified. Um, I have been to many homes where I've seen extinguishers uh, far past the date of expiry. Newton says extinguishers are just as easy to use now. All you have to do is follow the pass method. Just pull the pin 
uh, aim the nozzle, and then squeeze, and then sweep across the base of the flames. That's all for Retrospect. This is New Cap Sports. Lakeland wrestlers' court teams have begun regular season play, and this past weekend proved that all the hard work, all the hard off-season work has paid off. Both volleyball and basketball teams swept Kings University College, but Lance Phillips and Carol Lyons are here to focus on the former, giving their input on what went right for the Lakeland teams. Thank you very much. Wrestlers volleyball and basketball had a very successful weekend. Kira, did you happen to take in any of the games? I didn't get to take it in. I did talk to uh, Chris King about it a little bit, and he was pretty pretty happy with their performance. Uh, you did, though. You got mm -hmm. to watch the uh, men's and women's volleyball. So what did you like about the men's game? Well, listen, what, what I think the men's game, what I liked about it is the fact that this team is not big per se as you compare them to some of these other teams in the ACAC but they're very good defensively, very good defensively. They're in much better shape than they were a season ago. Uh, they pass the ball really well, and, and that sort of play is really going to get them far in the ACAC. They haven't made the playoffs since Taylor Dyer took over as head coach, uh, and this year they are, they are destined to be a playoff team, and they may be even more than that. Um, extremely successful team that I, I see going forward, just based off that small sample size from the weekend, uh, winning, winning four, four matches uh, is a great way to start their season. Definitely. Um, you also got to watch the women's, mm -hmm. which is in a, quite a different situation. They won nationals last year. What do you think their chances are of repeating a national championship? I, I think they're really good. Uh, they have a couple of issues that, that have nagged them a little bit last season. Their serve receive was something that, that Coach Austin Dyer made a point last year of saying needed improvement throughout the season. It's still an issue that he's harping on about. If they can get that sorted out, I'm not sure there's anybody that can stop them. That's that good a team. Even with their serve receive game not quite being where he'd like it to be, they're still a formidable threat. Probably an ACAC champion again. Uh, and then it just remains to be seen what teams like VIU are going to do out in the Pac West because that, that's always been a powerhouse volleyball school out there. Um, but I, I, think, I think they're in good shape to, to definitely go for an ACAC championship and possibly a national as well. Volleyball, basketball coming up again this weekend. Basketball's in Grand Prairie, volleyball, home at Lakeland. When you see news happening, let us know. Grab your phone and hit record and become part of the New Cap TV news team. It could make you $100 richer. If you capture news happening, drop us an email at tvnews at newcap.ca.